sometimes I'm asked how do I create cool pictures like this one. <coughs> Very quickly I will show you that this picture of course consists of many pictures and you can very quickly say it by simply me moving those pieces. And this other picture which is now grouped into one, you can now clearly see consists of at least three pictures, probably more. I'll just show you. So basically the one where is the sea, uh, where you see the sea um, on the right, I'll just show you here because I have no other way. That's one picture. The trees here is another picture. And the thing on the left, it's a uh, casino pool in Darwin. So three different pictures. If you actually look even closer, you will notice that where we have those, where we have the trees next to the casino picture. Actually, I'll just use this other picture to point this bit of the trees here on, on the bottom and this bit on the top it's actually doubling of the same picture and you can see how the tree is here actually bending it looks very natural but actually they are the same picture just just um, doubled so a little bit of creativity a little bit of imagination now have a look first of all if I had this picture here sent back you wouldn't say it right we've lost it so what's important now that when you actually do this embedding you click on the picture you right click on the picture you go to your options here this is in the right click right click allows you to see information and then uh, about the picture like the things you can actually do to edit it so you will bring it to the front and now we can put it here now you can see that it's already a different picture it just looks differently why does it look differently? Well, I have edited it already in order for it so in order for it to so nicely just plunge it plunge itself into the main background. Now how do I do it? Okay, so the way to do it is just to click on the picture. As soon as I click on the picture that the, the look at this. When I go to home, it's in PowerPoint, it's all normal. When I click on the picture, the editor of the pictures now is showing. When you click on the arrow, you get more of them. So look what I can do to a picture. Lots of things. They're all very interesting, right? Very interesting. Okay, so these are just the basic things you can do. Now, in order to create this smooth uh, embedding, what I did, let me do it again. Um, I chose, there are two pictures that will do it. One round one here that really nicely embeds the picture and you actually see that you lose a little bit of a picture when you do it. And this one, the square one, the square one just nicely embeds the picture and the picture just falls into the background.